Hello, my name is Ken Munro, and today I'm talking about business and life advice in song lyrics. So just what are today's lyrics? Now getting away for the summer reminds me of being a kid uh, and spending afternoons on Rosebud Beach, not on stand up paddle boards. Now I still have a photo of my, uh, my little self in my little boy bathers, inevitably without sunscreen, it was the 1980s, uh, having a bush wee on the beach at Rosebud, times have changed. Uh, there's also been years where I haven't taken a proper holiday at all and I also haven't left the state in six years except for the odd work trip. So I have a fairly balanced view when it comes to holidays. Now to me a holiday is really just a break from what you were doing. It doesn't have to be some elaborate or expensive or posted all over social media uh, to be recharging your batteries type holiday. Uh, two things equal a break for me as I've mentioned in you know, previous videos before. The first is taking a break from the relentlessness of coming up with ideas for dinner and cooking every day. And the second one is turning the data off my phone so I'm not tempted to waste time on that little piece of technology in my hot little hand. Now these things can occur anywhere, home or away, maybe in Summer Bay, and that's how I recharge. The first one is probably easy enough thanks to menu log, Uber Eats, or even the ready-made meals available in most supermarkets and shopping strips these days. A digital detox can be much harder due to the dopamine hit built into the way we interact with those little devices in our pockets or in our hands. Now, if you're finding it harder and harder to drag yourself away from your gadgets, you're really not alone. Or do you think you're alone? Because you're not. For many of us, staying online has become a dopamine addiction. We get a rush of pleasure from checking our phones, emails, or social media feeds. Uh, and when we're not online, we feel anxious or maybe a little bit antsy. We're constantly checking for new notifications, even when we don't really need to. Now, of course, there are ways to break this dopamine addiction, or uh, addiction is a strong word, but break that nexus. And one of the best ways is to take an actual holiday, a true digital detox where you stay offline for an extended period of time. This can be a challenge, but it's well worth it. When you come back, you'll find that you're more relaxed and probably more focused as well. You also have a better sense of what's important in life and what's not. Things probably aren't gonna blow up uh, while you're away from your phone or your device or whatever technology it is. Now, if a holiday isn't possible for you right now, there are other things you can do to break your dopamine dependence. Uh, one is to dopamine detox, and that is to abstain from dopamine triggering activities for a period of time. Uh, this might mean avoiding social media, email, or texting for a week, or maybe two. Uh, it might also mean unplugging from the internet entirely for a few days. Whatever method you choose, the key is to give yourself time away from your gadgets and the internet. This will allow your dopamine levels to return to normal and help you reset and move forward. Now that's all for this week. I'll be back next week with another piece of advice from Song Lyrics. Until then, stay safe, stay well, and manage that dopamine, be it a holiday or a detox.